Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early. Daily discipline. Mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. Friday. If anybody out there wants coaching or mentoring, go check out my website at skyazrael.com. You can also go find me on Facebook and send me a friend's request. I had someone on here say they were trying to get in touch with me. Go find me on Facebook, bro. That's an easy place to get in touch with me at. Let's just tell some stories. Have you guys ever been bullied? I have to look pretty far back in my life to find a time when I was bullied. When I was coming up in the 70s when I was a kid, because that's when I was a kid, is in the 70s, we had neighborhood bullies. I don't know if they have neighborhood bullies anymore. But you remember in the movie Friday with Ice Cube, and they had the character Debo, rest in peace, that motherfucker's dead. He's a good guy too. But we absolutely had people like that. These really big scary goons that would look for smaller, weaker p kids and, and they'd beat them up, rob them, beat them up. They did this all day, every day. <laughs> In fact, when I was a certain age, I would say around 10-ish, Bart Simpson age, little boy, and you're out playing a lot, because that's what we did in the 70s. We were out playing. We had our own little like Lord of the Flies world of kids out. Every kid was out playing. Your mom would kick you out of the house and go play. Most of us had to be back inside by the time the street lights went on, which was fine with me because the street lights went on around seven o'clock and that was when Happy Days came on. So I would rush home and watch Happy Days. But if you saw any older kid any kid that was four years or five years older than you, like a teenager, and you were 10 years old, oh, you better run. You better run. You're not going to stick around and find out if they're cool. You better run. Older kids beat up younger kids. It was just some sort of weird rule. That's the way it was. Older kids picked on younger kids. They beat them up. It was just kind of like an obligation. That, that, that's how it happened. There was this one kid, Kevin, and Kevin was the neighborhood goon, the neighborhood bully. Everyone, all the younger kids knew about Kevin and were terrified of Kevin. And Kevin had a younger brother who was fine. He was like a bully in training. When a couple years go by, he was gonna end up being, he's gonna take Kevin's spot probably. But no one was really too concerned about him. He wasn't gonna fuck with you, it was his brother. Kevin was a nightmare, he was a nightmare. And I lived in this giant apartment complex and Kevin dominated it, terrorized it. <laughs> I'll tell you when I had my only run in with him and I've watched Kevin beat people up, rob people. Oh, I had seen him in action so many times and I was genuinely scared of him. Even if I, I may be a little bigger than a lot of kids and I've always been bigger than most kids, but I was terrified of Kevin. Now, we were broke. I didn't have toys. I found a roller skate, one roller skate that fit me in the dumpster because I used to look in dumpsters. When, when you're at a certain level of poverty, a dumpster ends up being like a store. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'll take that. So I would always keep my eyes in the dumpsters. You never know what you're going to find. People throw good shit away. And I found one roller skate. It was red, white, and blue. White with red and, uh, red and blue stripes on it. And it fit me. I looked for the second one, there wasn't a second one. Fuck yeah, I got one roller skate. So I skated around with one roller skate, like a weirdo, all through the fucking apartments. It was fun. And I was way on the other side of the projects, over at my friend's place, waiting for him to get home. He wasn't home yet from school. And I went to a different school, I got off earlier. His school was further away, so he had some commute. And he was on his way home, and I knew what time he got home, and I was waiting for him, and I did that often. His name was Jason. So I'm waiting for Jason, and I was skating on one foot, 
it's kind of resting on my butt down this really steep grassy hill that was right out in front of his apartment. And I would do that over and over, skate down the hill, kind of try to climb back up it. And it's hard to climb back up this really steep hill with one skate on. I mean, you can do it. You only have, you have one good foot, but it's a little tricky. And as I skated down the, the, the steep hill on the one skate one, one time, one more time, walking around down at the bottom of that hill, walking around the building, because there was a building at the bottom of the hill, here comes Kevin. And he wasn't looking for me. Turns out Kevin lived in the next building over. I had no idea that Kevin and his brother and his whole family lived in the next building over. I didn't know that. Wish my friend would have told me, oh, you know Kevin, he lives in the next building. I didn't know that. There's Kevin right in front of me, like within arm's reach. That's like really close to be around a guy like Kevin. You don't want to be that close to him. He'll just grab you. I panicked. I panicked. And I tried to scurry up the hill as fast as I could, but I got the one skate on and it was hard. So I'm falling on my face, literally. I fell on my face like seven times, trying to claw my way up the hill with grabbing handfuls of dirt. Kevin was just standing there looking at me. He didn't chase me, he didn't fuck with me, he didn't do anything. He stood there and laughed. <laughs> just, just giggled, laughed the whole time, looking at me like, what's this kid doing? And I finally clawed my way, scratched my way to the top of the hill, covered in dirt, grass stains. Oh, it was a mess and he just laughed and he said, how did that work out for you? And then he walked off. And I guess I kind of realized at that moment that just because Kevin bullied other kids doesn't mean he was, was going to bully me and maybe what I thought was self-preservation was really just foolishness. Who knows? When I told the story to my buddy Jason, who was much smaller and weaker than me, a year or two younger than me. I think he was a year younger than me. He told me I did the right thing. And he was like, oh, bro, you did the right thing. Kevin will kill you. But he didn't seem aggressive. He, he, he could have easily just grabbed me because <laughs> I'm just sitting there going nowhere, trying to scratch my way up this hill. He could have grabbed me by the back of my collar and just held me up. I don't know if there's any moral to the story. Don't be afraid of bullies. Thanks for watching.